we call mahatma gandhi the father of the nation mahatma gandhi was a great man he was the leader of the freedom struggle he was also a great spiritual guide for indians but did india begin in 1947 you can call mahatma gandhi the father of the republic if you want to but the nation precedes it and their problem is that they want to reduce india to one idea one family and preferably one book and one party and that's what we and that i'm very uncomfortable calling him pandit nehru i just don't like i'll call stick to him as sri nehru or mr nehru right and i think we'll, we'll take his call. but it's very interesting that he's always called pandit nehru by some people well why so ask let's... yourself that question is it pandit because of a caste or do they think he is the ultimate repository of wisdom but what secularism by introducing it in the preamble they tried to do was that they tried to codify it and i think that if you recall most of the problems which we have had in india centered on secularism have resulted from the after 1976 when an attempt was made to codify it there has been a deep sense of anxiety over this lack of even handedness that laws are not applicable to everybody uniformly in december 2006 dr manmohan singh made a very interesting speech to the fellow chief ministers at the national development council and he said minorities particularly the muslim minority must have the first claim on resources now is this secularism every citizen you you can say every citizen of india must have the claim on resources you can say the poor of india must have this claim on resources you can say the deserving have the claim on resources you can even say the state has a claim on resources if you are that way inclined the intellectual stranglehold which exists among the particular section which says if you talk about the muslim if you talk about a uniform civil code you are being anti secular if you talk about the integration of india you are being anti secular you are trying to unify nobody is saying we should have uniform of worship no one whether we like it or not cow slaughter is one of those things whose ban or prevention is recommended in the indian constitution along with the directive in the directive principles it is an extremely touchy issue